All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are super excited for some more Lee Evans. Almost said Lee Mack, but I corrected myself. Which one are we checking out today? Getting a colonoscopy. <laughs> it seems like all these comedians have a colonoscopy joke. Every single one. Or a story. Yep. Now, colonoscopies, to be fair, everyone should have them more than once in their life to make sure that you're good to go. But I'm already excited for this because, again, as always, if you watch this channel, this is my wheelhouse right here. Not colonoscopies. I'm not a gastro, whatever that doctor name is. But the jokes that come from there are absolutely priceless. And I've been really enjoying Lee Evans as we've been reacting to him recently. We hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video. The entire time you were talking, I was just thinking, our daughter wants to be a gastrologist. And I'm just like, ugh, this is what you'd be doing all the time. <laughs> oh, my. Gross. They're professionals, though. Here we go. I hate going up the doctors for me checkup. I hate it. He keeps wanting to look up my ass. He's obsessed with looking up there. I think he lost his Rolex and remember the last time he had it. <laughs> I don't know. I was looking at the monkey boy's ass. Monkey he says I've got to go up the hospital for a colonoscopy. I told him where to stick that. He said that's exactly where it goes. <laughs> Gives me this special stuff. I've got a drink. It's in a sachet. I've got to mix it up myself. Clean me inside that before oh, the appointment. Drinks the worst. You know, they don't warn you what happens after you drink it. At least Al Qaeda, before they attacked that Bin Laden, used to send us a video. I was drinking this stuff, and the spoon I used to mix it up with started to bend in my hand. <laughs> I put the glass down, I thought I'd give that a couple of hours to work its magic. One second later, there's noises coming out of my backside, very similar to a voo voo zayla. <laughs> I'll tell you what it was like. It was like somebody shot Miles Davis during a trumpet solo. <laughs> <laughs> it warns you on the packet to stay near a toilet. Why even put that? What he should have said was wear a really good pair of running shoes and some blocks, because I'll tell you something, there ain't nothing that can stop you now. So, kick out the way! You're running through your house, you know the kids are coming towards you. Dad! <laughs> God! <laughs> you don't realise! <laughs> You're running up the stairs, there's the dog. <laughs> you know, you get to the toilet door. <laughs> You watch the other side of the door go, you, yeah, I was there first. Oh. You don't understand. She's going to blow. <laughs> <laughs> Get the f Hey, what the <laughs> Why is it when you're really dying to go to the bog, you know? Your bog turns into that game show with Philip Schofield, the cube. Your ass is about to explode. Do you accept the challenge? Shoot, <laughs> right, Philip. <laughs> Lock the door, lid up, pants down. <gasps> no bog roll. Yeah, I can do this, Philip. <laughs> as soon as your ass touches the rim of that toilet, it opens up like the Bombay doors of a B-52. <laughs> <laughs> it's burning! <laughs> you are now reenacting the opening scene to Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> my ass has got me pinned down over my ass has got me pinned down. <laughs> In that film, you know, Tom Hanks is always trying to get off that beach. You're doing the same, but every time you get off the toilet, you're like, I can walk! <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's my kidneys. I've never eaten this much in my entire <laughs> life. Do that noise. This is somebody else's. This. <laughs> anyway, I go. I mean, you can see how much effort he puts into yes. this. So I mean, much. he's always like super sweaty. sweaty, right? He's even got that towel right there. And, and some of us sweat more than others, myself included. But I mean, he just, he puts on this show. Someone had recently commented that he just retired. Aww. Like just recently retired, which is unfortunate. I'm sure it's good for him to be able to get some rest. Yes. But he puts his entire heart and soul into these performances. But at the same time, same time, he's not wrong. Like, whether you're sick or you're in that situation, like it's just nothing else exists but that bathroom. And you're so grateful for its existence. And then after like the fifth or sixth or seventh round, you just hate its existence. Like, can I get out of this room? Thank goodness for spouses or partners to help out with the kids because I'm gonna be in here for a while. 
Like he says, I'm not gonna get off this beach. That's awesome. I goes up the hospital, that's when the humiliation really starts. I'm sitting in this room, right, in the hospital. The nurse walks in and she goes, hey, is there anybody we can call in case there's an emergency? I went, yeah, fucking ambulance. <laughs> she makes me wear one of those hospital gowns that gapes open at the back. Now I look like a fucking human wigwam. <laughs> These Indians had names like Sitting Bull and Fighting Bear. What's mine? Shove your fucking ass. <laughs> anyway, I go through to this room and there's the doctor with his team. And there's a bloke holding the camera on the end of a tube. This one, a roll. It's on a fucking roll. <laughs> He said, did you know the human colon is 35 feet long? I said, yeah, but you don't have to see it all. I mean, our lounge is only 9 by 10. I haven't seen all that yet. <laughs> anyway, he lays me on this bed and he goes, now, just relax, relax. Why well, you stick that on my ass? Oh, yeah, this is what I always do to f***ing unwind. <laughs> he's got this thing in my ass, right? And he's looking at all the monitor screens. Do you know what he looks like? He looks like he's filling up at a BP station. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 <laughs> Anyway <laughs> I went back to the doctors for the results Really good results no Rolex <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to find the Rolex Oh my gosh <laughs> It's oh not gosh. in there I'm just thinking at least here they put you out Do they not like put you under in England when they give you a colonoscopy? Here the anesthesiologist comes in, puts you to sleep. I think it's the option or maybe like it's the insurance. I don't know. Because uh. I was put under, thank goodness for it. But um, could you imagine that? No. Like being awake? No. We're just going to numb the area. And maybe that's a more recent thing or maybe it's just part of the joke. Who knows? I don't know. But <laughs> filling up the gas station, that's awesome. Um, But man alive. I mean, again, it is just, it's a very unpleasant situation. But it's very important too. I'm not gonna turn this into like an, an ad or something like that. But we're just gonna end with that. Definitely, definitely get that taken care of. And if nothing else, for the life experience of drinking that jug of nasty Gatorade and be able to spend an entire 12 hours up close and personal, I would recommend getting one of the seat the toilet seat covers that have the padding on it. It's a little more comfort. Maybe get yourself like a footstool that's not like nasty, right? Cleaned off or whatever. Some magazines. I mean, you're going to be in there for a while. Maybe even have like a, like a little cup holder. Okay, I'm just saying. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to come back for more videos tomorrow. And until next time. Goodbye.